guys, welcome back to the channel, Bambi Reads Books. I am doing a check-in for the first week of December 2022. We had a very big TBR list, I had a very big TBR list, and so far I only have check-ins to do because I have not finished a book yet. However, I wanted to do a few check-ins and then I actually had a giant book up haul, so that's what we're going to call it. So I went to our library, had a library sale, and those are very dangerous and I want to say I want to say I have at least 25 books but it could be more I have to count so I'm excited to share those with you so many fun reads and honestly I did read the backs this time because last time was just I, I overdid it so I didn't go to the bag sale that's where you could fill a bag for five dollars I didn't do that I went two different days I went Friday and Saturday to this this book sale and it was a dollar for paperback and two dollars for hardcover so like I really tried to behave and I think I think that I definitely did better than I could have done <laughs> for sure so for the reading check-in for December so far Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry this one I am on page 242 so almost done that is page that is chapter 23 so almost there and so far I am loving it. I'm actually trying to like slowly read this one. I'm trying to slow down because it's almost over. I'm like, no, don't end, but I love it so far. The pressure's on and I am, I'm really liking this one. It's really cute. It's like a cute, like fantastical read with not a lot of politics in it. There's just like some Wild West stuff going on. It's kind of, it's very cute. I like it. Hang of the Hills, this one, I have been just like, oh. I just cannot believe how much is in this book. I'm on chapter five, which is like, I'm so sorry it's taking so long. It just, stuff happens. So, and this one I found like a playlist on Amazon Music, I think it is, that I listened to. And I've been playing that like on the speaker as I'm listening to this. And it's, oh my goodness, it's just, I wish this was a movie. It should be a movie. There is going to be a book too. This is a Bronze Sword Cycle book too, so I want... I want book two and I'm gonna hurry up and read this one it is gonna happen chapter five and then the other one I'm halfway through apes of the wildfires by Justin Morgan that one is just like tsunami dolphins had kind of a playful kind of feel to it this one is a bit more heavy for sure and I'm not disliking it it's just like it is a very heavy vibe so I'm gonna maybe try and pair a playlist to that and finish that one up that's the next one that needs to be finished that is a priority and I think that if you guys really like, like really diving into like another world or another perspective, I know that they're animal books. And at first I was like, oh, are these for kids? Like, no, like there is plenty in there to keep an adult more than entertained. Like I definitely feel like it's more of a fantasy book, even though it's not, it feels like a fantasy book to me. Like I can pretend to be a dolphin or like the apes one, like it's, it's dark, but like you can definitely, it's just interesting that he would think to put into the perspective of animals. I mean, it's a very good outlook, but like I would have never thought it. So definitely I am enjoying it. I'm about halfway through. So these ones should be reviewed. I'm hoping by like Tuesday. And since I am slacking so hard on this DVR, I'm going to set a goal for myself to read. I'm going to say, what do you say? Let's say a hundred pages a day like starting minimum because usually once I start reading I'll keep going but let's say at least a hundred pages a day and I'm gonna do some check-ins of what I've read and I'll post those on Instagram and the website daily just because I think I need to be held accountable like just because it's a holiday season there's things going on like why am I not reading still we still need our downtime it's still important so that is where I am with the TBR oh no and then the other one that one oh my goodness like I the cover you cannot judge a book by the cover like it really looked I read I did read the synopsis before I got it so I did understand that it was about three people more modern day it is an older book but it is a good book it is very heavy on the drama there's three different people and you kind of see how like they are their lives are connected but not in like a permanent way they're very spread out it's telling their stories and not so much from like each other's perspective either. Like you get a very broad overview of everyone and what's going on. We have a gay gentleman who had, he's like a trophy husband to this man. And so he's all embarrassed to like share his friends and family. And like, he's like moving in and like getting rid of a bunch of his things cause he doesn't want to be judged by them. So there's that. And then we have another lady who like, 
she's so rich that she doesn't even know what to do. She's like, should I get a job? Should I finish a book? Mom and dad, can I live with you? Like they're just paying for her hair. She's couch hopping with them, but like not couch hopping because they live a very, a very well lifestyle. And then you have her best friend who is like emailing very inappropriately with her father, with her father. Like it's just, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. So yes, definitely if you want suspense and just like, what are you doing? And like morally gray and just morally jumping over the edge kind of books. Like that is definitely, it's keeping me entertained. I had to take breaks because I'm getting irritated. I'm just like these people, but like, I'm not saying I hate it. So The Emperor's Children by Claire Massoud. Definitely that one. I'm about halfway through that one as well. I don't know why I blanked it. it like I said, it's probably because I've been listening to the audiobook. I just didn't I just blanked it. So, so far we're halfway through, that is four books. Well, I wouldn't say I'm halfway through The Hag of the Hills, but since I'm, we're further on Legend of the Lattes, I will finish Hag of the Hills. We're gonna finish Apes of the Wildfires and The Emperor's Children, hopefully before the next check-in, and then we'll add a couple out on top of that because we need to get this TBR down for December. I know I can do it. It's just been so, so crazy. And then there is going to be a little mini video. Look out for it. Elf on the Shelf. Today was a snow day for my kids. More of an ice day for my kids. So it was our first one. So I thought we could read Elf on the Shelf in honor of that. It's a winter time. So I hope everyone's having a good holiday. I hope that you're getting to read and sit down and enjoy your books. Um, I will also have a book up haul from the library, another video for that for December as well. And we'll talk about some of those and introduce those as they're probably going to be on the TBR for 2023. I'm just not sure which ones because I want to get author requests and tours always come first. And then my TBR is always, you know, that's secondary because they are, they will always be here. But I would like to read some of them and kind of look at them with you because I honestly haven't sat down and actually poured over them yet. So we should do that. So hope, hope the next check in I have more to report. December week one, 2022, reading wrap up. Haven't finished anything, but we will. All right, guys, I'll see you next Tuesday. And I look forward to talking to you guys about the new books.